Hi, I'm Sri Paravimba at Display Week 2016 in uh, San Francisco. I'm at the iZone with uh, Mitchell McCarthy, who is the co-founder uh, and chief science officer of Enverpix. And uh, they just won the iZone's uh, award, and we're going to talk about their products. Uh, it's good to see you, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, you. So how does your product work? Yeah, so what we have is the world's first full aperture light emitting transistor display. What, what I mean by that is, it's essentially an OLED display, but it's built on an ultra simple single transistor LCD type backplane. Wonderful. And what kind of applications are you uh, looking to achieve with this technology? Right, so this is directly targeted to solving the problems faced by display manufacturers for OLEDs, which is one of the major impediments have been finding a transistor backplane. Yeah. So our light emitting transistor devices are proprietary development that we've integrated mainly by starting with a fundamentally different operating mechanism transistor that takes the difficult purposes of driving the OLEDs and so controlling their intensity stably over time and integrating that into a single device. That's pretty cool. So uh, will this have impact on not just small OLED devices but also large OLED devices? Exactly. So this enables large aperture ratios because it removes the compensation transistors in the back plane. So that will boost the aperture ratio. Firstly, it will improve OLED lifetimes because they don't have to be driven as hard to make up for the dead space. And additionally, because of the requirement for large area displays to be bottom emission, it'll be ideal for that. In addition to also serving in small and medium displays. That's pretty cool. So from uh, a consumer's perspective, why, when can they expect to see the product? Right, so we're going to start scaling up the, the demonstration and licensing to display manufacturers so in the next two to five years consumers can expect to really see the OLED de devices they've been promised for so long. It's still, a, and this is directly to the difficulty that we're solving. So consumers want cost affordable, yep. form factor, high performing displays. That's what we can do. In addition to that, because we're not needing polysilicon and inorganic materials, we're bringing in organic semiconductors to do that job. And that's further gonna foster the transition to fully flexible, exciting form factor devices that consumers are really waiting for to really allow OLEDs to assume their position as market dominance over LCDs that we've been all been waiting for. Awesome, so you're enabling an, an industry that already exists but is struggling with different aspects, one of them being uh, the low yields and you're able to help with that. Yep, exactly. So a lot of the reasons behind the high cost of OLEDs is this backplane problem yes. and the yield loss. A lot of the manufacturers are throwing away portions of the output yeah. before they even get to the OLED deposition step because yep. of this complex backplane problem. Yep. Awesome. And in terms of uh, SID's Display Week, uh, are you seeing a lot of customers? What kind of responses are you uh, getting it's, from people? It's been a very exciting two days. We've been super busy and have, a, has, have had a lot of attention from people from all over the industry. And it's been really exciting for us. Awesome. So next year we're going to be in LA uh, with Display Week 2017. We hope to see you there. Great. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much and congratulations again. Thank you.